It's the job learning. Job learning. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> you are welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, if this is the first time you're seeing my face, kindly hit the subscribe button and be a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for staying faithful. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your support. We have one sixty subscribers right now. Do I know? It's not the best, so I still average, but. With you guys supporting me, sharing my videos and liking them and tagging people, we can go forward, yeah? So, from the title of today's video, it is going to be a story time. That's why I'm sitting down on the floor like this in my room because I want to tell you a story. We tell you story, story. Yeah. I don't know if you remember this book. I was just going around the house and I saw this book and uh, ah, I'm using the front camera. But eh, this is an A-level manual. A-level manual in... Nigeria. Uh, back in 2018, January 2nd, I realized that uh, I tried getting admission to a particular school and I was not, I was denied. So I went to the school and when I got there, I uh, did some things, met some people and uh, they told me about the program, Jupep A level and I took the form and I did it. That was feeling very, very bad because I felt I was qualified to just get admission for mass communication and uh, I was denied, yeah. So basically, my dad took me January 2nd, 20th. I can't forget that day to six hours drive from Lagos to Ekiti State. When we got there, we met some people. Don't worry, this video is not going to be very, very long. I just want to bring out one moral lesson from it, and that's all. So when we got there, we met some people. Then I started the lecture. I was, I was about a semester late because they've started the program around September 2017. So when I got there, I joined in, I did it, it was so stressful, that was the first time away from home, I met some people like, you know, you know, there are some people you meet in life that they will either change you or you change them, I'm meeting some people can mar your life, I'm meeting some people can make your life, I wouldn't want to mention names, but I met a good number of good people, yeah, a good number of good people, so we did the program and we did this for about six months and uh, it was stressful, it was tedious, if you live in Nigeria, you should understand how the educational system is. Just, no. When the results came out and I and I got to hear about my score, I was like, no. I said, no, this can't be true. Like, no, I can't. I can't put such a thought. And uh, when I got there, I said to myself, and I realized, wow, wow, no, like God is really, really good, yeah. So the moral lesson is just that uh, you need to hope. So hope is something that keeps us alive, yeah. Hope is something that keeps us alive. So when you thread your part of life yeah you know that there's always a light at the end of the tunnel as they do say and if you get to the end and you still don't see a light that means that is not still the end hope is virtually important right now we live in a world whereby things are really really bad it's not going bad and all even the social media is not helping even the mass media can make you depressed to some extent so just keep the hope alive that's what this video is basically all about so thank you so much if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this hit the like button, subscribe, tell people about it, share to the world and keep the hope alive. This is just my room from Lagos, Nigeria. Yeah, and I just cut my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Take care of yourself. Bye.